This is going to be a quick tutorial on swapping out a timer or an action listener and putting a thread in. Right now for an action listener you would implement action listener and then wherever you would have in your code body here you would create a new timer and then pass it the class that it's implementing that action listener into it and then you would call timer.start this start function would automatically look for an overridden function named action performed, and then you would call anything that you would want to be repeated on that timer event inside here. Um, so threads work almost the same exact way, except instead of implementing action listener, we're going to implement runnable. And I'm going to comment this out just for now. And this action performed, we don't need it anymore. We're going to turn that into an override of run. And then inside run, we're going to say while true. So we're just going to have an infinite while loop on true. We're going to I'm just going to grab the code from here, whatever this is doing. And that should be it as far as our function is concerned. I'm guessing this is moving the player and this is moving the level. Um, and so and the last thing that we need to do that we don't have to do in the action perform since this is we're setting the timer outside of this we're actually setting the the timer um, how long it waits to call this function again we're going to do it at the end of our try so at the end of our repaint we're going to call um, thread dot sleep and we're going to pass it five since that was the previous timer this is what pauses your thread. This is what pauses this um, while loop for the thread to keep on shooting out at a constant rate. Um, if not, it's just going to run like infinitely without stopping, without any pauses. Um, so now instead of timer, instead of this time equals new timer, passing it this, um, we're going to put thread, some thread equals new thread, and pass it this. And then some thread should have a start method. Yes. So now that's about it. We're just implementing runnable. Whenever you want your thread to start, you just create a thread and pass it the class that's implementing that runnable interface and then call start method on it. And that's going to run your run function that you should have a while true statement in there, a try catch, and at the end of your statements, your code that you want to execute, you're going to pause the thread for however many milliseconds that you want to pause, in this case five. So now if we run this, we should have the same outcome. Yeah, there we go.